You see, for me, I have two missions in life. It's not about making more money. It's about making more difference. One is to protect our home. And when I say our home, I mean planet Earth. That's the only home that we know today. And I'll talk about that in a few minutes further. Second is to find another home for us to go to. Uh, I mean, this is so important in terms of uh, survival of our species for humankind. Because, you see, dinosaurs did not have a choice with the climate change and everything that's happened. We do have a choice. So we got to do things to find new homes for our survival in case some crazy accident happened, whether it's nuclear or a pandemic. Uh, it was sort of, um, i share this quick story with you. During April, when my uh, astronauts were in space, it was the same time that Russia attacked Ukraine. And there were all these talks of nuclear weapons being used, you see. And one night I was just thinking that if some crazy person, <laughs> whether it's North Korea or Russia or somewhere else, starts a nuclear war that our civilization would end, right? Or even if we still survive, we will have this nuclear holocaust for years to come. And it just occurred to me that the only people who were off the planet were the uh, 11 astronauts that were in the International Space Station <laughs> that will survive. That's why I think we need to find new home. An intuitive machine has uh, created lots of technologies, lots of innovations uh, for basically creating a habitat on the surface of the moon. Now I want to talk to you about another company uh, that uh, I started in 2020 called Quantum Space, uh, where we're building the first robotic outpost at a place called L1, or the Lagrange Point. Lagrange Point between moon and Earth is a place where the two gravities neutralize each other. And so we're building this robotic outpost, but maybe can you be used as a fuel depot, as a communication hub, as a place where you can have your payloads and we will be able to sell infrastructure as a service. It's a new company. We have come a long way in making this company work and uh, it's pretty incredible how far we've come. So now I want to move to uh, a company that started in 2009 called X Energy. You see, for me, I have been involved in a space program for 40 years. Uh, you can say I'm a space cadet, okay? But I started this company in 2009 because I felt that humanity as a whole is like a drunken sailor going to edge of a cliff we don't recognize it. This is the only home that we have, and it seems to me like we don't quite recognize how dire of the situation we're in. You see, if someone has a heart attack somewhere here, we will call emergency service to come in, and even maybe the person's finger is broken or leg is broken, by the time they came to the hospital, the first thing doctor wants to do is to make sure that the patient survives, and they focus on the patient's heart. You see, we're in that sort of situation on planet Earth. We are in a very dire situation, and unfortunately, we haven't quite recognized that. So I started this company with a revolutionary technology in advanced nuclear, uh, but these are advanced nuclear reactors that cannot ever melt down. They're 100% safe, doesn't matter if there's a tsunami, doesn't matter if there's an earthquake, uh, it doesn't matter if a plane crashes to it, they're 100% safe. So it's a game changer in terms of, we are actually number one in the world in advanced nuclear, and we're building our first plan in the state of Washington, and uh, we just signed another contract with Dow Chemicals for the first time to be able to use advanced nuclear reactors in industrial application. See, 25% of the world energy is used for industrial application. And you see, I'm not against solar, wind, or other renewables,
but they only solve about 8% of the planet's problem. If we're going to really fundamentally change the game, uh, we need some uh, different kind of a solution with a nuclear, you know, you create a nuclear reactor. By the way, this doesn't require water for cooling. It's road shippable. You can get it anywhere in the world, and it can also enable hydrogen economy. Water desalinization, it can be used for petrochemical companies, cement factories, and so on and so forth. And um, hopefully, soon, we will have factories in all the continents. I will be deploying these uh, in a sort of factories where sort of modules are put together like Legos and shipped to the site and can be used all around the world. Uh, so this company that got started in 2009, and we, come, we have come light years away. Now I want to connect this to the space. You see, in order for us to have space exploration, we need also uh, nuclear, clean, safe nuclear. So we actually have a, won a contract to uh, build a, a, a fission surface power, nuclear fission surface power on the surface of the moon with my X-Energy company and Intuitive Machines. So we're working on that. If we're going to have a habitat on the surface of the Moon or surface of Mars, we need energy. We need to be able to have water and all our equipments to work. So nuclear will give us power for many years. Uh, the nuclear reactors that we're building right now, they, are, they can operate for a period of 65 years. And my company, X-Energy, we're also the first company who are building a nuclear fuel company. In fact, we'll be doing the groundbreaking October 13, uh, uh, next month, the first ever advanced nuclear plant uh, where we're going to be building nuclear fuel that you know, can sell not only to our reactors, but all the other reactors around the world. Okay, now I wanted to just read this to you which is my probably most favorite quote of all time by an uh, incredible uh, yoga, uh, yogi master, Indian philosopher called Patanjali. He says, when you are inspired by some great purpose, like solving the climate change or going to other stars, okay, some extraordinary project, all of your thoughts break their bonds. Your mind transcends limitations. Your consciousness expands in every direction. And you find yourself in a new, great, and wonderful world. Dormant forces, faculties, and talents become alive. And you discover yourself to be a greater person by far than you ever dreamed yourself to be. So this is my last slide, but my parting thoughts is for all of you to join the journey and figure out a way where we can together protect our home and be able to go to the stars. Uh, I'm delighted to have this discussion with you and, and present my dream, my journey, and uh, things that uh, inspires me. Thank you so much.